Hi, this is Chuck Fry with Innovation Tools, and I'm here with Renu Kulkarni of the Georgia Institute of Technology. She just spoke at the CODEV and Open Innovation Conference here in Scottsdale. I just had a, a few questions for you. Uh, when did you first start the, the Future Media Program? Uh, we started it officially in <coughs> August of last year. Okay. And what was the major objective of that? Uh, our major objective is to uh, bring economic development and research development both to Georgia and from Georgia to the world, so attracting to our state as well as getting out into the world, um, and uh, to really leverage all the wonderful assets that we have in future media, which is social, digital, mobile media. Okay. And you mentioned uh, a program called uh, the Inventure Prize, where you solicit ideas from your undergraduate students. Yeah. Uh, do you have any uh, formal or informal programs beyond that that you use to, to uh, solicit ideas from these very smart young people? We do. We have a variety of them. Uh, one of them is called the Business Plan Competition, where our students actually bring together business plans that they've written for real <coughs> ideas, for real money, in the hopes of forming a real company afterwards. Uh, we have another one called uh, a business launch, and that's an idea that al already has some seed funding and it's actually ready to go to market. Um, and that's in conjunction with um, Georgia Tech as well as the state itself uh, called the Georgia Research Alliance. Okay. Uh, what kind of technologies and business models should innovation managers be looking into in order to prepare for this uh, new media future? Of course, it depends what industry you're in, but I think the common themes are is how do you engage directly with your customers, uh, and the use of future, future media and these sorts of tools allows you to actually get to the individual person and get their input, get their ideas, get their critique of your products, and that's very powerful. If you can do that two million times with individual customers, then you have a powerful uh, database of information and moreover they're telling you things that normally they wouldn't tell you otherwise in a survey or any kind of phone call or customer service call and they're more likely to be loyal consumers because if they're taking the time to tell you this there's something that they already like about your business. I would guess that this is kind of a paradigm shift for a lot of companies who are used to broadcasting their message one way outward to those customers. That's right it's really um, the word long tail is what's used is how do you get your message out down to the specific individual and more and more companies that are astute about this are tapping into um, this knowledge base and actually getting them to improve their future products. Excellent. Uh, if a company wants, wanted to consider uh, partnering with you or at least opening up the dialogue, how would they go about that? How do they reach you? Uh, there is a website that we have uh, called uh, www.futuremediaglobal.com. Okay. and they can go there and get a bit of information. It's in alpha mode because this initiative is about six months old, but there is a place that they can um, express their interest in, and then we can get in touch with them. Okay, very good. Thank you.